How the heck does anyone sleep standing up? Ugh. Wake up everyone! Yee, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Hmm, let's find out. Woo! Oh boy! What have I done? What have I done? Am I gonna destroy everything? Professor, what's going on? <sighs> the suspense, the suspense is getting me. That's gonna get me more than anything. Da -da -da -da! Zelda song. Because it's held above the head, I guess. I'll put it. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Something's happening to the map. Whoa! Suddenly the map has more definition. <laughs> so there appears to be a star over there. Hmm. The localization of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map, and Mario's learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat! Each time you get a crystal star, you'll do learn a new special move. Ha! Oh. Professor, the map! And what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the location of the crystal stars appeared. And that shining light, it looks as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Yeah, I think that, well, I don't know. I mean, I could go to the next location. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go back. And teleportation, or... Fast forward in time, I don't know, it's one of the two. Hmm, aha, I see! I love this theme, it's so crazy. <laughs> you understand me, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it, well, uh, s stuff like this is better explain my example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Yes, I would. Excellent. In that case, we'll go outside since this place is a little cramped. Battle time again! Well, tutorial battle time. Now we have an audience. First, take a close look at this your star power gauge. See that? We got a new gauge, and it's got one unit of star power. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power. With me so far? Yeah, I was overly elaborated on, but okay. <laughs> when you have a star power, when you have star power available, you can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move to replenish your HP and FP. Really, really handy. So you can't select anything else. Special Sweet Treat. Here we go. Basically, whenever you press left, you will throw stuff, and you gotta throw stuff at good stuff. Avoid poison mushrooms, otherwise you'll, you will not be able to throw for a bit. I think I should just be spamming left. Urgh, no, it actually is a very bad idea, in all honesty, because you can get poison mushrooms off like that. My mistake. Oh, poopers. Let me go. Let me go. Oh, oh it's done over with. So, you'll notice that those icons related to your partner, as well as Mario, as well as the flower points. It's all self-descriptive just by the visual cues. Since you use one power dot, star, star power gauge is now empty. Take a look. No, it's dry. Now how do we recover that? Oh, we can recover that. Well, uh, he'll explain it. <laughs> Even if the gauge empties out though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. Yay! Woo, we love you Mario! If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean. Mario, Goombella, try to attack me, please. Let's attack! And press the A button to do an action command. See that? See those stars that came from the audience? I see that? You filled the audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. Just a little teeny tiny bit, though. And that happens each time you attack and do action commands successfully. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, oh that, I totally failed that somehow. That won't do. Perform like that and the audience will feel ripped off, trust me. I don't know even how you even managed to fail that. Am I really that rusty at this? <laughs> Alright, one more time, one more time. I gotta... Wow, I am totally sucking. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's, as you can tell, that scares away the audience. There we go! And now you'll notice, see those icons that keep appearing at the upper right corner? Each time you do an action campaign successfully, uh, uh, icons will match, I mean, icons will show in that corner, and when two match, something will happen. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of members in this audience. Highlighting. <laughs> so, let's just keep attacking... There we go. What was wrong with me? How did I manage to fail the most basic action commands in the game? I don't know. Mario, this is your chance to hit a big. Highlighting those two shine sprites up there. And this is all pretty much scripted. Nail an action command when you have two matching icons and icon wheels appear. Give it a try. And no, no matter what, you will get a shine sprite. And you can get five different things here. Shine sprites will cover everything, mushrooms will cover your health, flowers will cover the flower points. Look at the audience come in because of that. <laughs> um, poison mushrooms, you t uh, your uh, damage is halved. I mean, your HP and flower points are halved, excuse me. Stars and your star, uh, star gauge will cover. Fantastic, you match three icons. When you match those icons, the crowd goes nuts and people swarm the theater. Plus, depending on the icons you match up, your HP, or FP, or star power will fill it up. But if you get three poison mushrooms, something terrible will happen, so be careful. So there's a, a tiny bit of luck in this game, I guess you could say, that can make things exciting or just devastate you entirely, so keep that in mind. It's not, it doesn't happen all that often, but it does happen sometimes, so you gotta keep that in mind, I guess. So with me, the more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal commands to get star power. I hope you memorize all this. Yeah, the appeal command is... Oh, not gonna let me do it, am I? Great Goomba's Ghost Mario, look at your audience! Uh-oh, someone's got a hammer. Does that guy have a hammer? He does the bomb! He means to toss it at you. If the audience members hit you with anything, you'll take damage, obviously. You'll have to press X to stop them before they hit you. Wah! You lose an audience member, but you, you avoid taking damage. Who wants a quote-unquote fan like that anyway. <laughs> That's no fan. <laughs> That's right, sweet justice. You can press X to protect yourself from the objects the audience throws at you. Of course, fans of yours might toss good stuff, like coins. Don't attack them. Well, that's all I've got. Here ends my scantle... Uh, so scientology lecture and... So I just, just totally messed that up. Screw it. Let's go back inside. It seems like whenever I mispronounce a word, I just fail the entire sentence. I don't know, it's just a bad habit. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow, astounding! This map has radar-like functions. It now shows the location of a crystal star. What? Didn't we go through that already? No, oh, whatever. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. <laughs> the name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we go there. Does, does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'll get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, where did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? I guess ha 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 translates from, I mean, translates to Princess Peach. <laughs> really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach, this wouldn't be her, would it? Yes, yes, yes. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. I can't imagine Princess Peach going, getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off the Petal Meadows you go, you, you two go. Bah. You're failing line reading, dang it. Maybe I've been recording for too long, I don't know. <laughs> if Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting a crystal stars and a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Give me that map, yeah, thank you. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask about Princess Peach, and that's a suspicious gang. Uh, I, I can fail to say suspicious. Ah, I probably should stop recording soon. <laughs> Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Guma like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? 
You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Oh, yes. Oh, do we have anything else to say? You want to go to pedal? Yeah, okay, we already knew that. All right, so, wait just a moment. What is this? I got a power smash. This is a badge. There are 85 of these in the game, and I'm going to try and get every one of them. And Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it can, is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping? Yeah, fine, why not? These tutorials are charming after all. <laughs> in that case, first press start to access the menu screen. Boop. You actually have to press the button, by the way. Equipping a badge and removing... Let me explain to you how to equip and remove badges. Thank you. And now we have a badge. You'll notice that we have three badge points, BP. And see, it costs one BP. When I equip it, it'll take us down to two BP. So there's a limit to how many badges you can equip to Mario at any one given time. Keep that in mind. Well, I guess you don't really have to keep it in mind. You just gotta calculate the uh, badge points, I guess, with, depending on whatever badges you have and whatever strategy you want. This gets a lot deeper as you go. But anyway, let's just move out of here. By the way, you need flower points to use a power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you'll find that pipe to pe pedal metals. Oh, I'm sure I'll be able to find it. Anyway, the badge is not actually equipped because they, they actually truly unequip you from the badge because of that tutorial. Just, just to show you if you want to do that, I suppose. So equip that badge, go down the pipe. And now this time, go over to the left. There's someone, or at least there should be someone here waiting for you. Yes, him. My name is Dazzle, and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. Yay! Come on, let's trade. Okay, let's do this. We have five right now. Oh, uh, let's see what we have here. I should actually be going through these slowly so you can read them. This is pretty much useless for the most part, so just ignore that for now. There's better, um, better badges that you can get for uh, at this point in the game. Uh, ooh, ooh, I think I'll take that one. If I equip this, we got two badge points. That's good. I can equip it with the power smash. Um, what else can I afford at this point? Mm, that could be handy because enemies can first strike me if I have that. I guess I'll bring that just for the heck of it in case uh, the enemies get a little bit crazy. Yes, thanks to you, guy. My star piece collection is even bigger now. Yes, I wonder how many more star pieces there are in the game if he's got more. <laughs> anyway, now let's go to the badges. I think I'm going to equip that. Oops. That pretty lucky badge right now, even though the, the chill out is pretty good for overworld stuff, pretty lucky is great for battles. All right. <clears throat> let's go over here, save the game. And move on. Let's see if we can find ourselves a pipe to pedal metals, shall we? Oh, look at this! You remember this from earlier? Well, now you can actually use this. Yuppers! So let's... Yeah. Perspective. <laughs> Go through there. Hmm. What is... Hmm. That thing's kind of soggy. Ew. Go away! Bloop! Bloop! Ouch, that hurt. This is kind of a... Luigi's in the audience. <laughs> Who just up and whacked someone's tootsies like that? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Someone with some serious moxie, that's who. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? Some saucy mustache guy. Bloopity, bloop, bloop. He's in a world of hurt. Oh, no, not the tentacles. I I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample! Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us though, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put B in front. So yeah, you can use that to guard stuff. And you know, come to think of it, Goombella could have taken on Lord Crump on her own, like, with ease. <laughs> she could easily out-endure him just by attacking her because she, she has 10 HP he's got 5 HP both can do at minimum one damage per 
Uh, you get what I'm saying here. Anyway, wait, actually I should tattle, shouldn't I? This is a blooper! As you might have guessed, because of the bloop, 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 bloop. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, yucky things. G-R-O-S-S, -S, gross! Magic, max HP is 12, attack is 1, defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down. Then it's attack time! By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and house <clears throat> and house on that slimy, nasty blooper! Alright, let's do this! Actually, you know what would be really handy? Fire flowering those suckers, because this does 3 damage per... Uh, per hit, and that does damage to all enemies, but I'm just gonna show you how they attack just so you can see how they work. Boop boop! Hey, mustache! Boop 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 boop! You're thinking I taste good, aren't you? Admit it! Boop 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 boop! Yeah, you wanna smack on these tentacles, don't you? You're darn bloop, and I want to! <laughs> Blue ha! Oh, I shoot! Oh, I mistimed both of those. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, now the smart way that I wanted to do uh, to begin with, I just wanted to show you how that sucker attacked. Yeah! Whoop. And now it drops down. <laughs> and now it's hammering time with the new power smash! <laughs> Four damage now! Oh dang, <laughs> hazards of the stage! Well, actually, that was kind of useless, aside from getting more people in the audience, because I've already got full star power. Yeah! I didn't even use, need to use the star power. <laughs> anyway... Attack! Attack! It's kind of hard to tell where it's hitboxes. Hit boxes. Just kind of pay attention to where the arrow is, and you'll, you'll see where it is, I, I guess. Mm, mm, mm. And it's over! Yeah! Bloop battles are kind of like a tradition in Paper Mario games, I swear. <laughs> and there's a path for us to go forward. By the way, if you fall in water... I don't know if I showed you this yet. Yeah, there's always a fish that will gnaw at you and make you lose one HP. Anyway, moving on... Still moving on. <laughs> Oh, 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 next chapter! Well, actually, we weren't in any chapter, even the prologue, but I guess the prologue is te technically a type of chapter. Castle and Dragon. Man, that sounds classic. <laughs> So beautiful. Well, here we are. The Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario. The start of our adventure. This is completely awesome! So awesome that I'm gonna have to start it in the next part because I am just too excited to move on. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.